Okay. So good afternoon, guys. I formally welcome you all to this first introductory kind of session as a precursor to the mapping model. Okay. Uh, so I will be discussing three parameters in this. Okay. Number first, I will be discussing what is the significance of mapping. What is the significance of mapping? Second, I will be discussing how to approach mapping. Okay. How to approach mapping. Okay. This is where majority of you fail. Okay. I, I am being very blunt. Mm. I am just like mirror. Mirror kabhi jhooti tasweer mein dikha hai. So I will be showcasing you the reality of mapping. So this is where majority of you will fail in approaching the mapping. Okay. So this is the part where I will be focusing the most. Okay. And number third, I will be going through the application part. Okay. Where you can apply the mapping. Okay. So this is predominantly with regards to mains. Okay, with regards to mains part and in approach, I will also try to cover a prelims. Okay, because in prelims, the approach is different and in mains, the approach is different. Okay, so these three things I will be discussing primarily. I will be discussing the significance. I will be discussing the approach and I will be discussing the application of the mapping per se, which is, uh, which is needed for the civil services examination. Is everybody clear with this? Thumbs up, guys. Okay, so. Sure. <clears throat> now, so I am beginning with the significance part. Okay, why mapping is so damn significant for civil services examination? Okay, my mapping is so damn significant for civil services examination. Anybody care to explain me that mapping is important for civil services examination? Ke liye? Anybody of you? Ki, sir, why we need to do maps? Why we need to study karna Why? Anybody? Let this be an interactive session. Aisa ki aap bol nahi rahe ho. Anybody of you care to talk with me? Ki, why mapping is important? Anyone? Sir, they come handy while writing answers. Okay, they come handy while writing answers. Okay, so directly the application part. Okay. Uh, see guys, you are all going to become administrators. You are all going to become the executive part of the government. Okay, wherein you have to apply whatever is being decided at the center. And whenever execution comes, whenever applicability comes, Okay, so you need to have very detailed knowledge of regions. You need to have very detailed knowledge of the local conditions. Okay, hence mapping becomes very important for you, not only for the civil services preparation per se, but your deployment as administrators, your deployment as ambassadors, your deployment as law enforcement officers. Because if you know the ins and outs of that area, you are able to administer well, you are able to plan well, and you are able to execute well. And so don't take this session as merely something in which will help you in scoring good marks in mains, prelims, and in your final rank. But this will help you in understanding how you need to approach mapping with regards to your career as well. Okay. So don't let this session be just one or two time sessions that you have to note down. My job with will view is that I will be giving you those insights which will help you in your lifelong career. So the first significance of mapping, the first significance of mapping for civil services perspective is that you need, you get a hands-on view of the local conditions. Okay, the local conditions. And this is where majority of the questions in prelims are framed. Like if you pick up last three, four years of questions in prelims, so UPSC will ask you, which is the only active volcano. UPSC will ask you, like recently there was a drought in Africa and this lake was completely drought out, which was the name of the lake. UPSC will ask you where this particular tribe is located, where this particular kind of uh, uh, terrorist group or where this particular kind of separatist activities are going on. So such kind of questions UPSC normally tends to ask. You. So. The first significance of mapping is whether when you can understand local conditions. Okay, so let's say this year you have one question in mains. Okay, you have a question that Cyclone Freddy, 
which is now ongoing in the southern indian ocean is a one of a kind cyclone never seen up till now why so first of all you need to know what is cyclone second you need to know what is so special about cyclone freddy and you need to understand where it is located so cyclone freddy is a cyclone which is continuing for 30 plus days ऐसा साइक्लोन आज तक हम लोगों ने देखा ही नहीं कि एक महीने से ज्यादा वो साइक्लोन चल रहा है चल रहा है चल रहा है एंड इट इज बेकिंग इंटेंस डिवास्टेशन सो सच काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन यूपीएससी नॉर्मली टेंस टू आर सो इन मैपिंग यू विल बी बेटर एबल टू अप्रिशिएट दी लोकल कंडीशन सो द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ मैपिंग मॉडल इज दैट यू विल बी एबल टू पिन पॉइंट की ये सर ये चीज यहाँ पे हो रही है ये चीज यहाँ पे इंपॉर्टेंट है एंड इसका रिपरकेशन कैसे हो सकते हैं so this year's mains like last year sorry upsc asked a very simple question okay bring out the recent volcanic eruptions that happened in the year 2021 and 2022 so if you have not done mapping properly if you have not done the local mapping properly how are you expected to solve such kind of thing upsc ne mains mein question puch liya ki how does the local orogeny how does the local mountains impact the local climatic conditions so how are you expected to solve how are you expected to write such kind of answers if your local mapping is not done properly so the first significance of mapping is that you understand local conditions very very properly and some many things jay yeah in optional like if you have geography if you have anthropology uh, if you have uh, um, other kind of option like in sociology also and in everything you can include mapping and in gs also i will teach you in due course of time ki aap gs mein bhi maps kaise use kar sakte ho so the first significance of mapping is understanding local condition okay the second significance of mapping okay with regards to civil services examination only okay this is again very important is that map help you consolidate consolidate answers okay consolidate answers see guys this is the trick which most of the toppers use okay if you refer to any topper answer sheet so their answers are very consolidated their answers are very crisp okay and that is what a invigilator demand see if i am an invigilator and if let's say pratish aditya or krishna is has given me any answer sheet and i am checking their answer okay aapko ek question aa gaya bring out the relevance of anemia or bring out the relevance of iron deficiency in india and how it needs to be formulated in national health policy so abhi humne recently economic survey kiya hai all of you know ki anemia is very uh, endemic to the rural heartlands of chatisgarh jharkhand now agar aapne question mujhe diya and if you have just written a statement ki yahan yahan pe ye results mein ye mil raha hai aapko zyada tar mil raha hai and if i am reading and if someone has drawn the map for that ki kahan kahan pe aapko anemia rural areas mein milta hai so if you are using atlas you are using you are saving the space which you can use for other stuff if you are using atlas your answers are better represented if you are using atlas the invigilator knows that yes you have a working understanding of democracy that is india so consolidating answers is very very important in mains and mapping will help you consolidate answers yes akriti in madhya pradesh too yeah and jaise ek bahut common example leta hu all of you must have seen that example have you heard with regards to turkey earthquake pratish vikas aditya and krishna aapne suna tha turkey mein earthquake aaya hai okay yeah okay yes sir so turkey mein earthquake kyu aaya what was that kind of earthquake okay so if you have a normal question in mains that explain the disaster preparedness or explain the disaster mitigation efforts in india with respect to earthquake zonation so if you have such kind of answers so you will have to draw the earthquake zonation map of india you will have to explain india mein fault lines kahan kahan pe hain so in that stuff your answers need to be highly consolidated so the second kind of thing which is of highly significance with regards to mapping is that consolidating answers is everybody comfortable with this shall move ahead uh, guys jinke video feed mein dekh nahi pa raha hu sorry i'm interrupting uh, can you just speak with me uh, kritika rishab kalyani uma are you all comfortable rest yes, all sir. jinke video feed yes, band hai and you are not able to connect are you all comfortable with me 
मेरी स्पीड सब तो कंफर्टेबल लग रही है ओके ओके थैंक यू आई एम स्विचिंग माय व्यू अगेन ओके चलो लेट्स मूव अहेड ओके एंड अ थर्ड थिंग एंड अ थर्ड थिंग अगेन व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विद रिगार्ड्स टू मैपिंग डाइवर्सिटी डाइवर्सिटी see guys this is highly important for prelims okay prelims is a game of how much diverse your knowledge is mains is a game of how much streamlined your knowledge is okay please get this distinction very clearly prelims mein aapko diverse rehna padega aapke knowledge field mein in mains you have to be highly streamlined in your knowledge okay prelims you can have mapping from any damn part of the world any damn part in mains you know ki questions kahan se frame kar sakte hai okay normally they are framed from the theme of economic survey they are seen from major geopolitical conflict geo strategic conflicts major koi main schemes laiye government ne kahi pe kuch implement hua hai defense of india you know ki yahi se question aayenge but in prelims you don't know from where the upsc can got damn frame the question so in mapping i will make your mind highly diverse ओके okay. ये मेरा अल्टीमेट एम है आप लोगों के साथ मेरा एम यही नहीं कि मैं आपको मैपिंग पढ़ाऊ मैपिंग तो आपको कहीं से भी आप पढ़ सकते हो बट माई अल्टीमेट एम इज दैट आई वॉन्ट टू इंक्रीज यूर डाइवर्सिटी एंड इन डाइवर्सिटी आई विल बी नॉट ओनली फोकसिंग ऑन कन्वेंशनल बट आई विल बी ऑल्सो फोकसिंग ऑन दी करंट अफेयर्स पार्ट इन मैपिंग टू आपको एक शेड्यूल मिलेगा फिफ्टीन डेज का एक शेड्यूल मिलेगा इन दैट डे इन दैट शेड्यूल आई विल बी गिविंग यू की मैं कौन से दिन क्या पढ़ाने वाला हूँ तो वी विल मूव शेड्यूल बाय शेड्यूल बाय each day i will be giving you notes each day i will be dictating you notes rather not giving you notes each day i will be sending you links of current affairs each day i will try to interlink current affairs with conventional as much as possible and in the very end i will give you the detailed notes too is everybody appreciating this so sir mapping padni kyu hai hame okay dekho kya hota hai na majority of the candidates ko mapping bahut bore lagta hai koi hai kya yahan pe jisko mapping bahut bore lagta hai ki dar lagta hai hame mapping se sir थप्पड़ से डर नहीं लगता सर मैपिंग से डर लगता है कोई है ऐसा ओके ओके सो सी इफ यू फियर मैपिंग इट वोंट हेल्प यू ओके माय जॉब इज दैट आई हैव टू इरेडिकेट दैट फियर आउट ऑफ यू कि मैपिंग से डरना बिल्कुल भी नहीं है मैपिंग इज वेरी काइंड ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग एक्सरसाइज यू जस्ट हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड मैपिंग ओके so make sure that you understand whatever i will be teaching you make sure that you go through whatever i am teaching you and in the very end and in the very end all of you should feel confident in the very end all of you should feel comfortable uh, gelot kindly mute yourself okay in the very end you should be able to feel confident about mapping that should be your number one objective everything is clear to you guys shall i move ahead with the approach part now प्लीज यू मी यस नो किसी को कुछ पूछना है प्लीज आस्क मी ओके लेट दिस बी अ टू वे कम्युनिकेशन प्लीज डोंट लेट बी अ सिंप्लेक्स कम्युनिकेशन सर हाउ टू लर्न सो मेनी नेम्स इन मैपिंग ओके ओके दैट इज वेयर आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन अप्रोच पार्ट ओके डोंट वरी ओके या मैं नो हु इज स्पीकिंग अंजलि हां यस सर अंजलि ओके अंजलि या डोंट वरी अंजलि आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन द अप्रोच पार्ट आई नो कि वो जब दस नाम तो याद रख सकते हैं सर हजार नाम याद कैसे रखे यस सर ओके डोंट वरी ओके 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 या कंपोनेंट्स इन मैपिंग टू चलो मूव अहेड टू दी अप्रोच पार्ट नाउ ओके चलो So for approaching mapping, okay. Approach means how I will teach and how you will revise. Okay, how I will teach and how will you revise? That is going to be the same kind of thing. Okay. So approach kia kaise jaaye mapping ko? Okay. So always remember the approach needs to be fivefold. ऐसा नहीं है कि आप मैंने mapping बोला तो आपने atlas खोला और आप पूरे countries को घूर रहे हो. घूरने से कुछ नहीं होता जिंदगी में आपको अप्लाई करना पड़ता है आपको प्रॉपरली अप्रोच करना पड़ता है सो हाउ टू अप्रोच मैपिंग 
the approach needs to be fivefold everybody please jot this down properly theek hai baad mein bolna mat ki sir samajh mein nahi aa raha kaise kare kya kare i am going to be incredibly strict with regards to this okay so approach kaisa hona chahiye aapka mapping mein okay so in approach you have to remember five things whenever you deal with mapping the first thing you need to be highly comfortable with these physical aspects you need to be highly comfortable with the physical aspect okay uh, physical aspects in the sense of what okay physical aspects in the sense of number one mountain number one mountain plateaus plateaus rivers grasslands and tectonics and tectonics okay so this is i can include it number one part of physical aspects okay tectonics basically per se so ye char panch aspects aapke bahut zyada clear hone chahiye whenever i am dealing with the physical aspects of the mapping so if i am teaching you let's say the atlas of new zealand so i will be starting with the tectonics of new zealand i will explain you the orogeny of new zealand i will explain you the plateaus the grasslands every part of the new zealand per se every everybody is comfortable with this so this is the first part of approach wherein i will be discussing physical aspects in physical aspects number 2 part okay abhi upsc isko thoda sa seriously le raha hai abhi tak upsc isko seriously le nahi raha tha because this was a part of optional per se but now upsc is saying no we will be going into the detailed stuff this is a relatively new field which upsc is now focusing on okay i am writing the name it is called as telecommunication it is called as telecommunication okay telecommunication slash geophysics slash geophysics okay guys is i'm am i comfortable to everybody i'm audible to you all clearly okay so telecommunication slash geophysics this is relatively new kind of pore which upsc is now asking okay can everybody tell me what do you mean by telecommunication slash geophysics koi bata sakta hai mujhe any one of you एनीवन बात करो थोड़ा कोई दिक्कत नहीं है एनी वन ऑफ यू केयर टू कमेंट वॉट डू मीन बाई टेली कम्युनिकेशन प्लस जियो फिजिक्स लिथियम रिजर्व ओके शुभम ओके दैट वी विल गो इन टू दॉलिटिकल पार्ट ओके अच्छा हैव यू हर्ड विथ रिगार्ड रिलेटेड टू स्पेस रिलेटेड ओके ओके कैन यू इलेबोरेट मोर रिशभ uh so that, that is all i could guess okay okay no worries acha have you all heard the name called as el nino and la nina ye suna hai naam kabhi kisi ne el nino and yes. la nina yes okay. sir so whatever is happening in the pacific whatever is happening in the atlantic it is influencing us abhi heat wave aa gayi abhi recently in maharashtra you are having rainfall in rajasthan you are having rainfall ye kaise ho raha hai how are the air masses of europe how are the air masses of siberia impacting us okay what is called as splitting up of jet stream usse india mein kya affect ho raha you are all sitting in india but whatever is happening in antarctica whatever is happening in greenland that is impacting you in the end so this is called as atmospheric telecommunication okay jo dur se ho raha hai but uska effect aap tak kya aayega okay so now if you are having a fault line which is being activated in africa okay now it has been confirmed in the last month only in february that africa is finally splitting up there is a rift valley in africa called as the great african rift valley ethiopia mein aati hai wo so there the geo scientists they have said now confidently that yes the process of rifting of africa has started कि अभी अफ्रीका दो पार्ट में रिफ्ट होने वाला है इट विल टेक हंड्रेड मिलियन ईयर्स टू हंड्रेड मिलियन ईयर्स वो कभी भी कैसे भी हो सकता है बट अफ्रीके की रिफ्टिंग शुरू हो चुकी है सो नाउ दैट रिफ्ट इज कनेक्टेड टू नर्मदा इन इंडिया नर्मदा इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज नर्मदा रिफ्ट इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ट्रिपल जंक्शन सो इफ अफ्रीकन रिफ्ट स्टार्ट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट 
if rifting in india begins because we don't know how it is all connected so india may be rifting process ho sakti hai so that is called as family communication that geophysics that whatever is happening somewhere else but it is impacting you local everybody is comfortable with this so अगर आप आर्टिकल्स फॉलो कर रहे हो जो हम लोग डेली करंट अफेयर्स ग्रुप में डालते हैं तो देखना आपको एल लीनो ला लीना हिट वेव इसके ऊपर बहुत ज्यादा आर्टिकल्स मिलेंगे आप लोगों को क्यों बिकॉज सी वी आर नाउ हैविंग गुड अमाउंट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी वी आर एबल टू असेस वी आर एबल टू अप्लाई टेक्नोलॉजिकल एस्पेक्ट तो हमें अभी पता लग रहा है कि नहीं ये जो धरती जो भी है यू हैव थ्री स्पीयर यू हैव हाइड्रोस्फियर यू हैव एटमोस्फियर एंड यू हैर हैविंग लिथोस्फियर दीज आर ऑल वेल इंटरकनेक्टेड so using technology we are able to better understand the interlinkage between these three spheres so telecommunication is nothing but the interlinkage it is nothing but the interlinkage between the three spheres of earth. between the three spheres of earth. okay you have lithosphere you have hydrosphere and you have atmosphere is everybody comfortable with this shall i move ahead so ye relatively naya aspect hai jo upsc abhi target kar rahi hai guys so, shall i move ahead i'm not being comfortable to all of you are you all appreciating this stuff yes sir thumbs up okay chalo so now the second aspect which regards to approach in mapping okay ye to physical aspect ho gaya second approach needs to be political second approach needs to be political okay in political now okay the first thing you have to do is geopolitics the first thing you need to do is geopolitics okay second geo strategy geo strategy Okay. Can anybody explain me the difference between geopolitics and geo strategy? कोई बता सकता है मुझे? Some locations are important geopolitically. Some locations are important geo strategically. Can anybody care me uh, care to explain the difference between the geo strategic locations and geo political locations? So geo strategic locations can be choke points. Can be choke points. Okay, Rishab. and uh, politically we can look at the russia ukraine war that okay. is the uh, politics and geography okay 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 shubham geo strategic location lithium triangle okay chalo main aapko ek question puch raha hu uska jawab aap do mujhe okay can i say that ukraine's location is geo strategically as well as geopolitically important yes okay can i say that the location of strait of malakka is a geo strategic location yes sir yeah see somebody commented in the comment who is this okay devadarshini geo strategic positions lead to geopolitical conditions uh, devanshri you are almost 50 or 60% right see geo strategic locations is where you have the locational advantage mind you जियो स्ट्रेटेजिक लोकेशन यानी कहाँ पे जहाँ पे बिकॉज ऑफ लोकल जोग्राफी बिकॉज ऑफ लोकल टोपोग्राफी यू आर हैविंग लोकेशनल एडवांटेज सो इफ आई एम सेइंग द स्ट्रेट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड स्ट्रेट ऑफ मल्लाका स्ट्रेट ऑफ होमरूल स्ट्रेट ऑफ बाबल मंडप ओके स्ट्रेट ऑफ यू हैव यू हैव स्ट्रेट ऑफ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप स्ट्रेट ऑफ जिब्राल दर विच कनेक्ट मेट्रेनियन विद दटलांटिक सो ऐसे लोकेशन बन जाते हैं जियो स्ट्रेटेजिक जो उनकी खुद की जोग्राफी की वजह से उनकी लोकल टोपोग्राफी की वजह से दे बिकम सिग्निफिकेंट एंड इन दिस इफ यू आर हैविंग जियो इफ यू आर हैविंग पॉलिटिकल एंगेजमेंट ओके जैसे सम ऑफ यू आर सेइंग नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस यस नीच नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस जैसे अफगानिस्तान में लिथियम रिजर्व मिले हैं इंडिया में लिथियम रिजर्व मिले हैं सो यू ऑल नो दैट दिस इज द एरा ऑफ एवरी ग्रीन टेक्नोलॉजी सो बैटरीज में लिथियम बहुत जरूरी है सो बिकॉज ऑफ local geography because of local topography because of local locational advantage if you have political entanglement if you are having political engulfment that location becomes geopolitically important is everybody appreciating this okay so 
geo strategy conditions which lead to geopolitical conditions this comment was absolutely perfect okay so ukraine agar aap abhi ukraine ko dekhoge so aap bologe ki sir ukraine to kya sab kuch geopolitical lag raha hai aisa nahi hai see ukraine is a region of steps s t e p p s okay steps are the world one of the most fertile regions of the world okay usko hum log ukrainian steps bolte hai they are the temperate grassland roughly 30% of europe's wheat is produced in ukraine so as soon as russia attacked ukraine the first thing which russian army or military did is that they seized the godown jahan pe unhone sara gehu sambhal ke rakha tha close to 350 million tons russia ne gehu chor liya 350 million tons russia sniped off the wheat from that because russia knows that in coming decades you are going to have climate change and we are going to face with food crisis so ukraine if you see the ukraine's war everything is concentrated to the east of river nyper there is a river called as nyper which flows through ukraine so russia kya kar raha hai nyper ke east ki puri territory apne paas le raha hai why because that is the region of european steppes agar wo russia ne region le liya to russia ka farming acha ho jayega and every nation can survive only if their food security is addressed and not economic security so jo aap ye russian war dekh rahe ho nato aa gaya ye aa gaya ye to bahut baat ki cheez hai sabse pehli cheez jo russia karne ki koshish kar raha hai ki food security secure karne ki koshish kar raha hai so you need to understand russia ukraine war from this angle and this is where mapping will come in hand is everybody appreciating this shall i move ahead please give me a thumbs up pratish vikas aditya and satish Yes, all right. I'm not able to see. Let me just see how many of you have turned on your feed. Okay, yeah. I have uh, Uma. I have Kartika, Rishab, Praful, Priti, Rohit, and Kalyani. Are you all comfortable, guys? Yeah. Okay. Chala. Maza aa raha hai ki bore ho raha hai. Sandesh, you are not able to hear me. Okay. Everybody can hear me properly. Okay. So. Yes, sir. थोड़ा मुस्कुरा दो मैं सीरियस फेसेस लेके बैठे हो तो डर लग जाता है कभी कभी बराबर पढ़ा रहा हो या नहीं पढ़ा रहा देखो मेरी भोली शक्ल पे मत जाओ ठीक है भोली शक्ल वाले लोग अक्सर खतरनाक निकलते हैं तो मैं उस कैटेगरी में आता हूँ तो थोड़ा सा प्लीज हंस दिया करो बीच बीच में ओके चलो सो थर्ड थिंग इन पॉलिटिकल कंडीशन ओके थर्ड थिंग इन पॉलिटिकल कंडीशन विल बी गोइंग इन टू रिसेंट डेवलपमेंट ओके विल बी गोइंग इन टू रिसेंट डेवलपमेंट ओके रिसेंट डेवलपमेंट इन देंस दैट एनी न्यू ट्रिटी एनी न्यू ट्रिटी ओके एनी न्यू पॉलिसी एनी न्यू पॉलिसी ओके और एनी न्यू लॉ एनी न्यू लॉ ओके इफ इट इज इम्पैक्टिंग जियो स्ट्रेटेजी एंड जियो पॉलिटी विल बी वेंचर इंगेटेड टू ओके तो रिसेंट डेवलपमेंट में हम लोग ऐसे पढ़ेंगे ओके सो जैसे मैं आपको अगर अफ्रीका पढ़ा रहा हूं तो अभी प्रेजेंटली नाइजीरिया में इलेक्शंस हुए हैं इथोपिया में सिविल वॉर चल रहा है तो थोड़ा सा मैं आपको उसके बारे में ही पढ़ाऊंगा बिकॉज वाई दैट इज गोइंग टू इनडायरेक्टली इंफ्लुएंस दी लैंड डिग्रेडेशन दी लैंड डेजर्टिफिकेशन ऑफ सहारा बिकॉज अगर स्टेबल गवर्नमेंट नहीं रहेगी तो सहारा को मैनेज कैसे करेंगे सो यू विल हैव लैंड डिग्रेडेशन लैंड डेजर्टिफिकेशन सो थोड़ी सी ये सारी चीजें भी मैं आपके साथ डिस्कस करूंगा इन पॉलिटिकल एस्पेक्ट ओके सो जब आप मैप रिवाइज कर रहे हो जैसे आप लोगों ने अगर नॉर्थ अमेरिका निकाला सो योर अप्रोच शुड बी वॉट फर्स्ट यू आर कंफर्टेबल विद द फिजिकल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ नॉर्थ अमेरिका आपने फिजिकल एस्पेक्ट पढ़ लिए समझ लिए रिसेंट डेवलपमेंट आपने पढ़ ली देन यू आर मूविंग इन टू पॉलिटिकल एस्पेक्ट की कहा पे जियो स्ट्रेटेजिक जियो पॉलिटिकल कंसिडरेशन है कुछ रिसेंट डेवलपमेंट हुई है क्या जिस वजह से ये सारे पैरामीटर्स बदल सकते हैं दिस शुड बी योर अप्रोच विथ रिगार्ड टू फर्स्ट टू थिंग्स द फिजिकल एस्पेक्ट एंड दी पॉलिटिकल एस्पेक्ट चल मूव अहेड गाइड चल रब दिस इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन टेक अप स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ द स्क्रीन आई एम जस्ट मूविंग अहेड आप चाहते तो आप इसका स्क्रीन शॉट लेके रख लो बिकॉज क्वेश्चन यही से पूछे जाएंगे आपको इन दो स्पीयर्स चलो तो 
so first were physical aspects second were political aspects third it's economic aspects economic aspect now majority of you were saying sir reserves sir natural reserves wo sara aayega aapke economic reserves okay in economic part i will be dealing into three spheres i will be dealing into three spheres number first i will be dealing into resource advantage i will be dealing into resource advantage okay and resource advantage khali natural nahi rahega it will be human too okay resource advantage it won't be natural only okay natural resources water agriculture ye to hum discuss karenge but we will also discuss human resources we will also discuss human resources we will discuss migrants we will discuss refugees we will discuss prisoners of war okay we will try to discuss some of the refugee crisis jaise rohingya refugee crisis hai to wo hum log discuss karenge ओके okay, अभी इथियोपिया में एथनिक क्लेंजिंग चल रही है टारगेरियन रीजन में सो so, हम लोग वो भी थोड़ा सा डिस्कस करेंगे बिकॉज वहां से आपको क्वेश्चन आ सकते हैं सो आई विल बी गोइंग टू रिसोर्स एडवांटेज इन इकोनॉमी सेकंड इन इकोनॉमी आई विल बी वेंचरिंग आउट इनटू ट्रिटीज ओके ट्रिटीज मीन्स आई विल वेंचरिंग आउट इन टू ट्रिटीज लाइक आर ओके रीजनल कॉम्प्रेसिव इकोनॉमिक पार्टनरशिप एशियन डिस्कस करेंगे हम लोग okay we will be discussing trans pacific partnership okay we will be discussing some of the bits of india bits means bilateral investment treaties india ki kis kis ke sath kaise kaise chal rahi hai wo bhi main thoda sa aapko overview dunga okay i will be discussing double taxation avoidance agreements kis kis ke sath kaise kaise signed hai wo hum log padhenge thoda sa okay iske sath sath i will try to implement some new treaties jaise abhi usa and russia Between these two, there is now increased thrust. Russia is saying that the START treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. USA is saying that the start treaty is, we will reduce it. ओके सो इकोनॉमिक ट्रिटीज में सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट आज के तारीख में कोई आएगा तो वो आएगा डिफेंस अप्रिशिएटिंग दिस एवरीवन शाल मूव अहेड गिव मी थम्स अप और थम्स डाउन ओके या तो थर्ड पार्ट विच आर बी डिस्कसिंग अंडर इकोनॉमिक हेड इज गोइंग टू बी इंडस्ट्रीज इज गोइंग टू बी इंडस्ट्रीज ओके विच रीजन हैज डोमिन ऑफ विच इंडस्ट्रीज okay so if i am considering africa if i am considering north or south america so which industries are dominant if i am considering india which industries are dominant okay and in industries we will not only deal with the primary sector industries we will also move to secondary and tertiary sector industries and we will try to reconnect industries with the resources we will try to reconnect industry with the resource industry okay thank you thank you okay is everybody appreciating this yeah now the fourth approach in mapping okay mapping so aapne atlas khola you have done the physical aspects you have done the political aspects you have done the economic aspects okay the fourth aspect which you all need to go is social approach okay social okay social in the sense see this is somewhat little bit uh, scary part scary in the sense ki sir society yani kya hum log har ek country ke social status hi padhe kya uh, yes mohammad gi status will come under economic aspect only okay because if you have gi tag so promotion it helps in trade promotion so but naturally it will help in industry growth and resource advantage too okay so bhi recently jitne gi tags aaye hain main wo aapko padhaunga okay so okay yeah so social approach so you will ask me sir society yani ki har ek country ki hum log society padhe sir should we study each and every country tribes and all that no okay whatever societies are in news societies in the sense population or demographics 
demographics in the sense that now you are seeing globally that the population figures are declining japan korea germany france they are all witnessing population decline japan from last around uh, 2000 it started from 2015 so roughly around 8 years now japan is registering negative population growth rate okay so hum log aise trends discuss karenge in societal declining population number we will be discussing the some of the ethnic or civil wars which are happening as of today from which upsc can ask you the location of tribes or the location of such war so we will discuss such kind of issues under social ha huh? another very important stuff that if you have some big movements which are going on in the world okay if that movements are specialized movements or if that movements are specific movements so such kind of movements will be incorporating under societal aspects so, yeah right now yes mohammed you are saying that japan pm has given speech recently ki if it's the d day ki agar japan ne abhi population pe kaam nahi kiya so japan economy will not grow at all it will start declining and the same thing is happening in india our population has fallen below replacement level replacement level means jitne aa rahe hain utne hi jaane chahiye but abhi jitne ja rahe hain utne aa nahi rahe hain so there is a mismatch between your birth rate and death rate so your replacement level starts to fall that is happening in india too so aise aspects hum log societal aspects mein discuss karein is everybody appreciating this shall i move ahead okay and the fourth aspect the fourth dimension sorry the fifth dimension again this dimension is little bit ambiguous isme main utna zyada focus nahi karunga but ye dimension thodi important banti hai in civil services that is historical dimension that is historical dimension okay historical in the sense that how that one particular continent was formed how that one particular tribe was formed what are the local aborigines aborigines means those people who are residing in those areas since millennia who are the first colonizers first colonizers in the sense ki wo land mein sabse pehle log kaun reh rahe the what is their present status okay because if you know little bit of history you can understand society if you understand society you can understand economy if you can understand economy you can have you can interlink political and physical aspects very easily so let's say I, on 15th of march aapko schedule milega so 15th of march mein i am beginning up with australia and new zealand so main aapko little bit history padhaunga pehle australia and new zealand ki ye continents kaise the ye countries kaise thi kaise bani because that heavily influences what they are doing today they say new zealand is the first country in the world who has banned smoking so aisa kyun kiya hai new zealand ne uske piche kuch raaz hai historical reasons hai societal reasons hai wo hum log padhenge are you all appreciating this so this is the approach we which you need to use while studying atlas while studying mapping anjali is this clear to you okay So guys, I am giving you two minutes break. Drink some water. Okay. Ask me if I have any difficulty. पूछो मुझसे कुछ बातें करनी है करो पूछे. Then I will start with the application part. Ask me if I have any difficulty. Let me switch off the switch on the view. I am uh, pausing the recording for a movement. Okay. So I have turned on the recording again. So now let's move to the last part. That is the applicability part of maps. अप्लाई कैसे करोगे आप मैप्स को uh tarun is asking uh, difference in approach yes that is what i will be discussing now somebody is asking me difference in approach who is this i don't know and somebody is asking we are going to cover ir2 yes of course we are going to cover ir2 <clears throat> okay okay so the last part that is applicability how you need to apply this map Okay. 
in application i will give you a direct distinction between prelims and mains between prelims and mains you need to have a clear cut डिफरेंस की प्रीलिम्स में आपको मैपिंग कैसे करनी है एंड मेज में आपको मैपिंग करनी कैसे करनी है ओके मेजोरिटी ऑफ यू विल फेल इन दिस ओनली आप मेरे सेशंस कर लोगे सब कर लोगे बट आपको ये समझ में नहीं आएगा कि सर प्रीलिम्स और मेज में मैपिंग को डिफरेंटली अप्लाई कैसे किया जाता है सो इन प्रिलिम्स यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द फर्स्ट थिंग इन प्रिलिम्स दैट इन प्रिलिम्स लिंकेज इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट लिंकेज इन देंस कि जैसे मैंने टेलीकम्युनिकेशन में बात की ना वो प्रिलिम्स में उतना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं होता है व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन प्रिलिम्स इज लोकेशन इन न्यूज ओके यू नीड टू बी हाईली स्पेसिफिक विथ लोकेशन इन न्यूज ओके लोकेशन इन न्यूज ओके दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके यूपीएससी विल नॉट वेंचर इन टू द इंटरलिंकेज पार्ट इन प्रिलिम्स location in news will be the prime phase for mapping in prelims so ab jab prelims ke liye atlas revise kar rahe ho jaise aap logo ne let's say have opened up south america or have opened up russia or have opened up europe so aap interlinkage pe zyada nahi jaoge ki kaise connected hai kya hai nahi aap khali locations dekhoge jo jo news mein rahe hai jo locations main aapke cover kar raha hu wo aapko prelims mein karna bahut zyada zaruri hai is everybody appreciating this ओके सेकंड ओके इन प्रिलिम्स मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस विद रिगार्ड्स टू एनवायरनमेंट एंड इकोलॉजी मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस विद रिगार्ड्स टू एनवायरनमेंट एंड इकोलॉजी फ्रॉम मैपिंग पार्ट टू दे आर आस्क इन द स्पीयर ऑफ बायोम्स ओके बायोम्स बेस्ट क्वेश्चंस बहुत ज्यादा आते हैं ओके बायोम्स बेसिकली यू आर हैविंग इन अराउंड आई कैन इफ यू कैन समराइज यू आर हैविंग 10 टाइप्स ऑफ बायोम्स इन द वर्ल्ड डेजर्ट आर्कटिक sorry the polar the arctic you are having the equatorial biome you are having the savanna type of biome so biomes based questions bahut aate hai prelims so make sure that your this part of applicability in prelims is sure shortly done okay and if you pick up last 3 4 years of paper so biome se bahut zyada question aaye hain so biomes i will be exclusively covering in the physical part so ye aap properly karoge when you are revising for prelims okay third third very important stuff as of now as of now means in last past two three years okay upsc is normally asking you questions on treaties ki kaun si treaties kiske sath ho rahi hai upsc is also asking you questions with regards to agricultural production with regards to agricultural production okay and upsc is also asking you questions with regards to industrial localization industrial localization okay i will explain you each and every stuff what do i mean by this okay treaties so abhi ek nayi treaty hum logo ne usa ke sath sign ki hai okay it is regarding with regards to intelligence sharing what is the name of the treaty that can be asked as a one liner europe ke sath hamari kaun si treaty atki hui hai wo question already upsc ne pooch chuka hai again you can be asked that question so treaty can be asked you can be asked which is the most recent strategic partner of india so anybody knows which is the most recent strategic partner of india jis jo log current affairs kar rahe batao mujhe who is the most recent strategic partner of india australia to hai aur batao France to it France was our first strategic partner. Egypt, yes, Rohit, you are correct. Egypt, okay. Egypt is one of the most uh, recent and the most important strategic partner for India because India knows that if you want to balance West and East, Egypt हमारे काम बहुत है क्या? Because Turkey हमारे काम में उतना आने नहीं वाला है. So Egypt is going to be a very important question for this year's treaty. Okay. Agricultural production. You all know that. 2023 is the year of millet it is the international year of millet it has been declared in united nations so millets kaun se millets kaun se areas mein grow kiye jaate hain what are the different types of millets okay which millet is used can be used for food fortification 
विच मिलेट कैन बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड अंदर अंतोदा अन योजना वो सारा हम लोग एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्शन में जस्ट गिविंग यू सम एग्जाम्पल क्वेश्चन कैसे आ जाते हैं ओके इंडस्ट्रियल लोकलाइजेशन ओके इंडस्ट्रियल लोकलाइजेशन मीन यू नॉट ओनली हैव द लोकलाइजेशन ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री बट यू आल्सो हैव द लोकलाइजेशन ऑफ सर्विस इंडस्ट्री यू कैन हैव क्वेश्चंस विद रिगार्ड्स टू सेटिंग अप ऑफ ऑयल रिफाइनरीज यू कैन हैव क्वेश्चंस विद रिगार्ड्स टू सेटिंग अप ऑफ पोर्ट्स जैसे लास्ट टू लास्ट ईयर 13th major port india bana rahi thi wo question puch liya gaya tha you can have questions with regards to dry ports of india you can have questions with regards to the newly built expressways of india jaise the longest expressway of india presently in construction is the delhi mumbai expressway so what is the speciality of that expressway you can ask with questions with regards to samruddhi corridor at present the world sorry at present india's longest expressway which is functional so aise questions aapko puche ja sakte hain under industries and infrastructure part uh somebody saying please start with the first topic as this will be clear from the schedule uh no i am not be starting with the first topic because i have to start with australia new zealand wo hum log baad mein discuss karenge this session is only the introduction part where i am giving you ki main kaise approach karunga okay so is everybody clear with this so in prelims if you are doing mapping तो आप क्या क्या ध्यान में रखोगे लोकेशन इन यूज ध्यान में रखोगे यू विल बी टारगेटिंग बायोम स्पेसिफिकली विल बी टारगेटिंग ट्रिटीज यू बी टारगेटिंग एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्शन ये इंडिया का नहीं ग्लोबल भी ओके दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी लोकल बट आल्सो ग्लोबल ओके आल्सो ग्लोबल ओके आई विल टीच यू की ग्लोबल ट्रेंड आप कैसे याद रख सकते हो एंड नंबर थर्ड इंडस्ट्रियल लोकलाइजेशन एंड ऑल्सो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर and also infrastructure is everybody appreciating this shall i move forward okay chal now mains part in mains what should be your application okay in mains the first part of application is okay drawing atlas drawing atlas in as many answers as possible is as many answers as possible okay answer kisi ka bhi rahe history rahe geography rahe polity polity not case specific but if you are having something with regards to governance so मैप निकाल दिया आप लोगों ने इकोनॉमी आपने मैप निकाल दिया एग्रीकल्चर में आपको निकालना ही पड़ेगा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर आपने मैप निकाल दिया सो इन मेन एप्लीकेबिलिटी पार्ट ऑफ मैपिंग इज ड्रॉइंग एटलस एंड दिस एटलस नीड्स टू बी रीजन स्पेसिफिक दिस एटलस नीड्स टू बी रीजन स्पेसिफिक ऐसा नहीं है कि आप पूरे वर्ल्ड का मैप निकाल रहे हो शो करने के सो so, अगर आपको वर्ल्ड हिस्ट्री में क्वेश्चन आ गया स्लेव ट्राइंगल अगर आपको करंट अफेयर्स में क्वेश्चन आ गया लिथियम ट्राइंगल समबडी जस्ट पॉइंटेड आउट लिथियम ट्राइंगल सो रीजन स्पेसिफिक आंसर्स आपको निकालना बहुत जरूरी है इन मेन ओके दिस इज गोइंग टू बी हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट इन मेन सेकंड एप्लीकेशन इन मेन फॉर एटलस ओके ट्रेंड ट्रेंड ओके आप पूछोगे कि सर ट्रेंड्स कैसे दिखाए हम लोग ओके वॉट शुड बी द ट्रेंड so let's say if you are having trends with regards to the changing forest cover of india with regards to the threats to himalayan ecosystem so aapko atlas mein kya dikhana padega ki forest cover india mein kaisa kaisa hai if i am discussing forest cover in india so forest cover if i am discussing so forest cover you have three parameters you have very dense forest number 2 you have moderately dense forest and number 3 you are having open forest so ye trends aapko mujhe atlas mein show karni padegi if i am discussing with regards to let's say health okay with regards to schooling with regards to education okay education kaisa hai india mein india mein digital literacy kaisi hai what is the digital literacy in india okay so this you have to explain me in diagram so trends are very important in answer writing in main and this is the hack which maximum toppers do that you explain the trends which are happening in the current scenario is everybody comfortable with this yeah and the third part in main particularly 
ओके थर्ड पार्ट इन बेस्ट पर्टिकुलरली ओके इन एप्लीकेशन पार्ट इन एप्लीकेशन पार्ट पर से यू हैव टू टेक स्पेशल केयर आई एम आई एम राइटिंग ओवर हियर एज फाइव स्टार ओके यू हैव टू डू अ स्पेशल केयर वाइल यूजिंग मैपिंग इन मेन ओके स्पेशल केयर आप क्या करोगे कि आप जो आउटलाइन निकल रहे हो वॉट एवर आउटलाइन यू आर ड्रॉइंग वॉट एवर आउटलाइन यू आर ड्रॉइंग ओके दैट आउटलाइन नीड्स टू बी प्रॉपरली हाईलाइटेड दैट आउटलाइन नीड्स टू बी प्रॉपरली हाईलाइटेड हाईलाइटेड इन द सेंस कि आप जो भी कहना चाह रहे हो एटलस से सो वहां पे आप बॉक्स में प्रॉपरली लिख रहे हो कि सर हम लोग ये ये कहना चाह रहे हैं एटलस से इट नीड्स टू बी प्रॉपरली हाईलाइटेड एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट शुड बी एक्सप्लेन ऑल्सो इट शुड बी एक्सप्लेन टू ऐसा नहीं है कि खाली आपने एटलस निकाल दिया है ना आप नीचे उसको एक्सप्लेन नहीं कर रहे हो सो यूर आउटलाइन नीड्स टू बी एक्सप्लेन टू देन एंड डेर इट सर so it should be a mix and match of conventional and current everybody is appreciating this so there should be a mix of conventional and current so this is how you need to apply atlas in prelims versus main okay mains mein trends bahut zyada kaam mein aayegi aap logo ke prelims mein locations biomes and uh अभी के लिए आई एम सोइंग दैट दिस मे चेंज ठीक है मैं ये अभी आपको गारंटी दे सकता हूँ कि जो थर्ड पॉइंट लिखा है मैंने दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द सेम बाय द टाइम ट्वेंटी नाइन मे कम्स दैट इज अप टू माय डिस्क्रिप्शन हाउ आई एम टीचिंग यू ओके वो मैं इसको मॉडिफाई कर सकता हूँ इज एवरीबडी अप्रिशिएटिंग दिस ओके चलो ना आस्क मी इफ हैव एनी डाउट प्लीज आस्क मी इफ हैव एनी डाउट विद रिगार्ड टू मैपिंग i'm re i'm reiterating whatever i have said up till now theek hai ki main mapping kaise kaise lene wala hu i am going to approach okay so the first thing which i will be discussing in mapping module whenever i am teaching any new country any new continent so first i will be discussing the physical aspects physical aspects mountains rivers valleys plateaus deserts uh, deserts mein wahan likhna bhul gaya okay the tectonics and more recently the telecommunications part that i will be discussing very very much in detail second i will be discussing the political aspects both geo strategic and geopolitics i will be discussing the important treaties the important uh, conflicts which are happening as of today third i will be venturing into economics economics i will be discussing the industries i will be discussing the resource advantages both natural as well as man made and i will be also discussing the current trends economically current trends kaise chal rahi hai production trends kaun si country ki kaisi hai wo bhi hum log thoda sa discuss karenge third fourth thing i will be venturing out is the society part okay so upsc normally tends to ask you match the column or region specific uh, population uh, region specific ethnic groups aapko puche ja sakte hain so hum log wahan se wo karenge and the fifth i will be introducing you to little bit of history per se of that particular continent okay so i will be giving you point to point notes i will be dictating you notes and in the very end will when we finish of this session i will be giving you a detailed handout of my handwriting too okay application part application part is going to be that in prelims you need to primarily focus on locations in news you need to primarily focus on the biomes part at present in india infrastructure in particular to defense infrastructure is very important so mai aapko wo padhaunga environment is also important in india so the state of forest the national parks of india wildlife of india any new species been discovered we will discuss that too in mains perspective so jab mai aapko board pe koi cheeze explain kar raha hu to wahi ke wahi hum log usko we will try to correlate with mains too okay somebody is asking when wind up all the classes a uh, static part on be aligned with current happening no uh, like if i am discussing resources who is asking me okay uh, and uh, anindya anindya if i am discussing resources so resource will be current specific conventional specific resources puchti nahi hai upsc wo gaya zaman so current specific karenge and wind up the classes 15 classes so if i am starting from 15th of march we'll complete it by 31st of march okay 
सो दो ऑफ यू हु कैन अफोर्ड टू ज्वाइन ना अभी ज्वाइन कर लो ये मैपिंग मॉडल अगेन इट विल बी रिटेड बिफोर पेरेंट्स यू वॉन्ट टू ज्वाइन यू कैन ज्वाइन देन ऑल्सो Okay, the rest will be given up to you by the CS team. This is the first thing. Okay, uh, Pratish, my number. Uh, I will not be giving you my number per se. You call with the helpline. वहाँ से आप मुझसे बात कर सकते हो. I'm part of the group, so we'll call it through that one. Okay, rest. Now, ask me if I have any difficulty. I'm seeing that we have around having around sixty-three candidates. Guys, did you enjoy the session? आपको clarity आई कि mapping कैसे होता है कैसे approach किया जाता है और डरने की बात बिल्कुल भी नहीं है Please don't fear. देखो डरोगे तो कुछ नहीं होगा और डर के आगे जीत होती है मैं मानता हूँ माउंटेन टू जैसे डर के आगे जीत होती है बट हमें जीतना नहीं है हमें हमारे मुक्काम तक पहुंचना है So it's my responsibility that I will eradicate the fear of maps from your hearts and as well as from your mind, from your brain. Don't worry. and uh, key to that that maximum of you join this module because it will be of utmost import uh, it will be of utmost utility and value to all of you and we are also starting with the cmp batch for prelims of 2024 from monday so wo bhi batch aap chaho like chaho most of you should join that batch and if you can share with this this stuff with others you can do that okay how to join this module please everything will be instructed to you on the groups don't worry don't worry ओके बिफोर एंडिंग दिस सेशन मैं आपसे एक ही रिक्वेस्ट करना चाहूंगा प्लीज रिसेंट टू मी कैन यू टर्न ऑन योर वीडियो फीड्स एवरीवन थोड़ा सा जितने पॉसिबल हो मैक्सिमम लोग आपकी वीडियो फीड्स आप लोग टर्न ऑन कर सकते हो थोड़ा बस दो मिनट के लिए कोई दिक्कत नहीं है ओके ओके गाइस सी इफ यू कैन सी माय फेस इफ यू कैन सी माय हेयर तो आपको समझ में आएगा कि मेरी एज इतनी ज्यादा नहीं है आई एम नॉट दैट मच ओल्डर टू यू हो सकता है कि ये सेशन में मुझसे ओल्डर कोई लोग बैठे हों ठीक है बट वॉट आई कैरिंग इज द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ सिक्स इयर्स ऑफ प्रिपेयरिंग सॉरी सेवन इयर्स ऑफ प्रिपेयरिंग फोर इयर्स ऑफ कोचिंग ठीक है मी इंक्लूडिंग द पीपल ऑफ दिस सी एस ए टॉपर टीम वी हैव वन ऑल अवर ट्वेंटी फिंगर ठीक है हम लोगों ने हमारी बीसों उंगलियां जला के हम लोग यहाँ पे बैठे हुए हैं जो मिस्टेक्स हम लोगों ने हमारे प्रिपरेशन के बाद की जिस वजह से हमारा प्रिपरेशन हमारा रैंक आ नहीं पाया वी डोंट वॉन्ट इट यू टू रिपीट द सेम थिंग मैं ये सेशन क्यों ले रहा हूँ सी इफ यू सी द इकोनॉमिक पार्ट इफ यू सी ऑल द पार्ट इट इज गोइंग टू बी पीनट फॉर मी बट वाई एम टेकिंग सच काइंड ऑफ सेशन फॉर यू बिकॉज वी डोंट वॉन्ट यू टू सफर द वे वी हैव सफर ठीक है हमारे वक्त हमको गाइड करने के लिए कोई ऐसी फैकल्टीज नहीं थी जो बता सके कि कैसे किया जाए हम लोगों ने खुद नहीं किया सो दिस इज ऑल कमिंग आउट ऑफ बर्निंग मिड नाइट ऑयल दिस इज ऑल कमिंग आउट ऑफ बर्निंग ऑल ओवर ट्वेंटी फिंग दस नहीं हम लोगों ने बीसों उंगलियां चला के बैठे सो मेक श्योर कि आप ये सेशन अगर लगाते हो तो यू यूज इट टू यूर अटमोस्ट पोटेंशियल आप मुझसे मेरा हंड्रेड नहीं मेरा दो सौ प्रतिशत आप मुझसे निचोड़ रहे हो आप वो टूथपेस्ट खत्म होती है तो आप निचोड़ते हो ना टूथपेस्ट की इसको कि और बच्चे और बच्चे और निकालो वैसा आप मुझसे निचोड़ रहे हो एंड मेक श्योर दैट यूर मैपिंग इज एक्सेलेंट Mapping should not be good. Mapping should not be average. Mapping needs should be excellent. Mapping excellent will be so you will be able administrators will be able and you you will be able to better administer things. Are you all comfortable with this? Okay. किसी को कुछ पूछना है, I'm asking you for the last time. Please ask me if I have any difficulty. Otherwise, we'll call off this session and we'll begin from 15th of March. Anybody wants to ask me anything? Sir, I'm not part of the group per se that you're talking about. Okay, uh, it's the Daily Current Affairs group. May I know who is speaking? Rishab, yeah. Rishab, Sir, it's Rishab. a group called as Daily Current Affairs where I post in the important aspects with regard, uh, like the uh, highlighted PDFs of the news, which I feel are important. Okay, Daily you may Current join Affairs. that group. Yeah, okay. DC group, Daily Current Affairs. Okay, yeah. Okay. Anybody you. else? Anybody is having any question? Please ask me. what will be the timings of the classes arshad timing of the classes will be in the afternoon only okay 2 to 4 ah uh, you are a working professional arshad okay uh, so see what i can do for all of you guys is that if majority of you are working if majority i'm not saying minority majority of you are working i can amend the timings according to you but uske liye pehle hame discussions karne padenge so 
let's first begin with the module and then we will try to modify the table okay a uh, recording somebody is asking me recording uh, who is asking me arshad no recordings will not be provided of this module at all okay because the thing is ki agar aise videos leak ho gaye na to this is our usp so hum hamari usp sell out nahi kar sakte please uh, i the team will decide not me okay main yahan pe khali academically padhane aata hu that's my job which i'm i guess i'm doing okay uh okay chalo then let's follow up this session all the best to you guys keep in contact with us okay and thank prepare you, well okay all the best to you okay thank you thank you yeah yeah so the year pradesh yeah you can stop the recording okay okay <laughs>